thousands of British Columbians being forced to leave their homes as swollen rivers in the BC interior have spilled over their banks. Now that is causing what some officials are calling a flood that comes once in 200 years. There's six feet of water in the basement. Last year was the worst I'd seen it and it was considerably lower than here. It's awesome. You should see how many people are up sandbagging. There's communities kind of rallying together. Oh. This is the worst I've seen. And I've been here. Uh, I grew up here. This is my hometown. And those are just some of the scenes and voices out of Grand Forks, a town in the Kootenai Boundary region. More than 2,700 residents are now being ordered to leave. Many there remember the 1948 flood disaster when most of southeast B.C. was underwater. And to say this flood looks even worse, with more, let's bring in Briar Stewart, who has the latest from the flood zone. In B.C.'s interior, melting snow combined with the rain is causing rivers to rise and overflow. Flooding is particularly bad in Grand Forks. The community of 5,000 is on the southern edge of B.C. and it's where two rivers meet and they're rising. Some people are sandbagging, trying to keep the water away. Others are already flooded and are now pumping out their basements. The man who lives in this motorhome tried to leave, but then got stuck. Well, we had the motorhome parked beside the motel, and when I went to pull away, the front wheel just sunk into the soft dirt, and now we're hung up here. The flooding comes as the province is taking a closer look at just how it handled last year's flooding and fires. Yesterday, an independent review was released and it contained more than 100 recommendations. The report's authors called on all levels of government to work closer together and it also called for more investment in mitigation and planning to try and prevent some of these disasters and the very expensive cleanup afterwards. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver.